I promise you that we're going to have Susan do the interview instead of me. But uh, I left my wig at home and skirt, so we're going to have to go with this. <laughs> okay. So options and graphics has been around how long? This is our 12th year. 12th year. Uh -huh. And you started the company? Yes. Uh -huh. And I understand, too, that you're a uh, veteran, correct? Yes. So yeah. people like Mimi would be... How many veterans are here that have veteran-associated companies? I'll put up my hand, too. Okay. You want to talk to uh, Mimi. You want to talk to Mimi because she's running a, uh, a program for veterans, a business program. And we have someone else here, and gee whiz, I can't think of the name of the company. Where are you? You have bid sheets for uh, minority and veteran groups. I know you're here because I talked to you. <laughs> we'll find you. But uh, it's an opportunity for uh, my minority companies and uh, veteran companies to to uh, put their foot forward and be in the marketplace. And a lot of a lot of uh, clients want to work with veterans because uh, you're the guys that keep this enterprise free, right? For it, was sure. a, it was nice to see Mimi here today. We've been uh, Options and Graphics has been a member of Novoba, geez, cool? probably for five or six years now. And that's the National Association of Veteran-Owned Businesses, and uh, and uh, they have. Uh, started a uh, new program called uh, Buy Veteran. And uh, if you stop at our offices, you'll see the Buy Veteran stickers all over the windows and, and everywhere. So it's a great program, and uh, Novova does a great job to help support veteran companies. Great. Well, what, the way we bumped into options and graphics is uh, actually you joined our chamber, came to a few of our events, and then we uh, needed a graphics company to do our magazine. So what we had was uh, Kevin. Where's Kevin and Mike? Can you stand up, Kevin and Mike? There you are. And uh, Kevin is the guy who really was responsible for us going with his company. And he said the magic words, and we should all write these words down, because he said it to me three times, and the third time we decided to go with your company. And he said, Don, whatever it takes for us to be your graphics company, we would like to do it. Tell us what it's going to take. And sometimes we don't ask that of our client. Just what do we have to do? Now he's sorry he asked that, but, <laughs> but we're here anyway. And there is an ad in here uh, on options and graphics, and I'm not sure what page it's on, but uh, you'll find it. It's on page 25, a little write-up on options and graphics. And what do you do besides design and layout of magazines? We uh, Options and graphics. I, I've been in the printing business now for over 30 years. Uh, uh, for the first 20 years of that career, I worked for a large printer uh, as a sales rep, sales manager in western Pennsylvania. Uh, the printing industry has changed dramatically over the last 30 years, probably more so in the last 10 years than it changed in the previous 20 years. And I saw the industry taking a turn to where uh, the Internet and uh, was becoming a major influence in uh, printing uh, purchases and sales uh, uh, but it wasn't, I'm an old school uh, salesperson. Uh, I've never lost the philosophy that people buy from people. You're right. And people buy from people who uh, put their customers first uh, and do everything necessary to service that customer with uh, quality products, uh, unbelievable service, and, and fair pricing. And, uh, and uh, I'm a Western Pennsylvania, born, born and raised in, in Crafton and McKees Rocks. And uh, like Carrie said, uh, we, we have a, a unique situation here, and it's always been my desire to uh, uh, be a part of the community, service businesses in the community, and also uh, support organizations within the community. Great. Great to hear. And uh, also, uh, Mike, who uh, – stand up, Mike. We're going to embarrass everybody here, huh? Um, Mike designed this uh, layout in the magazine. Actually, he did the layout in detail, and he did so much detail on this that it actually has the golf course uh, uh, on it, the pin numbers on it. It is the most detailed map that I've ever seen of South Point, and I know he spent a lot of time uh, working on that. And then also, uh, for the November issue, we're going to use the same format. We're going to feature... Horizon Properties, and they are actually going to announce in this publication, the, in fact, this will be the first detailed announcement of the South Point Town Center. It's finally been approved, and we're in a situation now where they're going to show the complete layout, 
how the town center is going to be built, where it's going to be. We're going to have graphics on the front, aerial views of it, and uh, detailed articles from Mike Swisher and uh, Rod Payette, who are the two that are really the developers of South Point 2. So many have been asking, 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 when South Point 2 really going to come together? And it is uh, going to be announced in our November issue. So I uh, look forward to seeing that. All of us great uh, board members like Jimmy McDonald and uh, and Carl Skirpak and Lou Gadani and uh, Terry Caldwell will be off the front cover. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and uh, by the way, we need a lady in our, on our board of directors, if any of you are interested, just to balance it out a little bit here. And uh, we'll have instead the graphics and the whole layout of the uh, of the uh, town center, South Point Town Center. Anything else you'd like to add? Yeah. Uh, if uh, if you want to advertise in the uh, in the next edition of the magazine and don't have uh, a graphics department or someone that can put your ad together, uh, we'll do that for you. Uh, we'll uh, you know since we're doing the layout and, and uh, we'll create the ad. We'll we'll be in, get in touch with you to uh, uh, to find out what you want to put in the ad, what logos you want to use, uh, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And uh, and just to finish up for options and graphics, we are a uh, a one stop shop uh, from design to uh, uh, to print. To delivery. Uh, everybody's busy. You know, mm -hmm. most marketing and purchasing departments don't have time to contact three or four or five companies to, uh, to get a project off the ground or a marketing concept from beginning to end. Uh, we're a company that can, uh, can develop the concept, uh, uh, get the products, all related products, whether it be printed materials, uh, promotional product materials, corporate apparel, to support that particular program. Uh, you know, it's a one-stop situation. We can handle it from beginning to end. Now, you do, uh, I see in your ad here, you do mugs and uh, all kinds of promotional items, too, as well. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, be so. sure to drop your card in our little box here uh, because we are going to raffle off a dozen embroidered shirts. So. Oh, what size? <laughs> uh, you'll get to pick the sizes, the colors. Uh, we'll contact you and bring the catalogs over, and uh, the samples of the shirts are there. They're very nice shirts. Uh, and we will take it from start to finish once uh, we pull your card. Carl asked that question. I didn't. <laughs> uh, and here is a, a question that we have written here, presented to you. What is your most bizarre gift that you've put together? The most bizarre <laughs> bizarre gift that or project that we've ever put together? Uh, geez, you don't get No divorce of, packages or no, anything like, like that? that. Uh, you don't... Uh, we have printed a lot of strange things. I mean, we've printed buckets, uh, we've printed sponges, uh, just uh, strange things for strange promotional marketing things, you know, where people come up with an idea and we'll find a place to do what you need done. Uh, we are, uh, that's what we're good at. It's kind of soak up our product and send a sponge or something like that. That's cool. Okay, anything else you'd like to add? Any questions of the group? Okay, thank you very much, Paul. We'll see you over.